And so this is pretty cool. It's like, uh, it was a whole production, whole community event. Come out and see the bridge move, this, the historic bridge move. That's pretty cool. Well, hello there and welcome to my channel. This is Walt from Walt NPA. And today, I'm going to take you on a little trip to see a historical area not too far from home. You see, I was watching um, a video just the other day from Chip Seal. Now, my apologies if I get some things wrong. I'm doing this totally from memory and... Uh, Remembering specifics on videos and such aren't uh, my strong suit. So I believe Chip rides with his wife. Uh, Chip rides uh, an ST1300, I think, and his wife rides an NC700. Um, touring bikes, they get out, around, get out around central Georgia, and they show off the sights. Uh, some of the local area... Uh, they're just kind of nice, cool, scenic videos. I like watching them. And one of the more recent videos, uh, Chip was out at a, a covered bridge. And I think it had some historical significance. But it was really cool seeing a covered bridge in another state. I guess that seems kind of strange, but um, it's not something you see in motovlogs every day. So it was a, it was a nice change of pace. So the cool thing about that last video was that it reminded me that there are a couple of covered bridges in my area. Now, back when I was young and first learning to drive, one of the things that I used to love doing was getting in the car and just exploring. Gas was dirt cheap back then. I mean, I think it used to cost $9 to fill the tank of my car or something like that. And I used to love just getting in the car and getting lost around around Berks and Montgomery counties and one day I stumbled onto this covered bridge and I thought it was the coolest thing I'd never seen one before that and it was a place that I wound up stopping every so often you know every couple of months I'd head down there take some pictures just kind of hang out and visit the place it was uh, kind of scenic it was on a you know it was crossed over this little creek or a crick here in Pennsylvania, as we say. And it was just a cool little spot, not terribly far from home. So, it's been a number of years since I've been to that bridge. I'm not even sure where it is anymore. But uh, Chip Seal's video kind of, I don't know, sparked that old memory, that little bit of nostalgia. And I thought, you know what? Maybe I'll find out where that bridge is and go visit it again. And that's when I remembered a conversation that I was having with someone years and years ago. Um, shortly after I discovered that covered bridge, I was talking to one of my neighbors or something, and they had mentioned that, oh, yeah, you know, there's a whole bunch of them around here. And I said, really? Like, right, right around here? I was like, no, no, they're, you know, spread out around the in a couple of counties, but they're all reasonably close, you know, within an hour. And I think there are supposed to be upwards of 12 of them spread out between uh, Berks County, Montgomery County, uh, Bucks County, Chester County, and whatever other counties are close by that I can't remember. So I thought, you know, it's, it's, this is a pretty cool little historical thing we have going on. So I want to get on the bike and follow Chip's lead and uh, maybe take a ride out to one of these bridges, get some video of it, maybe take, snap a couple of pictures if I can. Now, the bridge that I'm going to today is not the one that I remember when I was younger. This one is the South Perkesy Covered Bridge. And I'm going out here because it's a little bit further from home and allows me to be on the bike a little bit longer. And I think it's a bigger bridge in general, so it should be kind of cool to see. I did pull up some general information on it before I left the house just to get some uh, 
some basics to make sure that it was still accessible and still there and stuff. And it is still accessible, although it is not in the original location anymore, which I thought was pretty interesting. So, I believe the bridge was built back in the 1890s to cross over whichever creek that it crosses over. I, again, I don't have any notes with me or anything. And I believe it was about 90 feet long. Um, I, I forget what they called it. A truss style bridge. Some, some sort of truss style bridge. So anyway, in the 1950s, the bridge was moved from the original site. Um, I can only assume that the, there was structural damage or structural integrity issues with the original structure. So rather than just tear the thing down and put up a standard concrete bridge, they wanted to, to keep that bridge for uh, history's sake. So they picked it up and they moved it not far from where it originally sat and then just kind of set it up in an open grassy area in a park to preserve it and I thought this was really cool you know I looked at some photos there's some construction going on in the area so I'm not really sure how this is going to work out or whether the the Google satellite images are current one of the reviews did say there was construction but the bridge was still accessible so I'll have to see how that goes So the South Perkesee Covered Bridge is in Bucks County, Pennsylvania. Now, uh, I, I've been in the cabinet industry, uh, custom furniture, custom kitchens, entertainment centers, that sort of thing, for a very long time. I think I've been employed in the business for 20 years, and then I went to trade school before that. It was a hobby before that. And uh, all this time, I didn't realize that Bucks County had its own type of furniture that is pretty popular, uh, or at least it used to be pretty popular. I don't know that I see very see it very much anymore. Not unless someone's buying an antique. Um, most people don't want to pay the reproduction the prices for reproduction furniture because it's it's pretty involved. So the furniture itself is pretty standard, and I'll post a picture up in the upper right hand corner now. This is a Bucks County cupboard um, and basically it's pine furniture that's been hand tooled to give it that natural handmade look and it's got a terrible paint job and the, that terrible paint job is is meant to simulate years and years of use and in some cases it's not just a single paint color that is worn through to the original wood underneath um, a lot of times it's at, le it, it's at least two, or I shouldn't say, most times it is two. It isn't very common to get more than two, but just because of the sheer amount of work it is to, to make the finish look like that. So it's pretty cool that Bucks County not, has a, a history of craftsmanship, not only with covered bridges and structures, but with furniture as well. I thought that was kind of a cool little tie-in that I'd slip in there before we get over to the bridge. So I've got, oh, I don't know, maybe 10, 12 more miles to go before we hit the bridge. So I'm just going to, I don't know, cut the camera off, enjoy the ride a little bit, and I'll check back in with you when we get closer. Jeez. That was mildly frightening. Half expected him to overcorrect and come right at me. Alright, well, we made it. The historic Pergasy covered bridge. As you can see, it has been moved. So it's no longer crossing a creek it's just kind of floating above the grass and it's kind of cool that they're keeping it in good shape oh you know what 
really bad habit of walking off without taking my key. <laughs> that would not be good. So they're doing a great job of keeping it preserved, which is really cool. $15 fine for any person riding or driving over this bridge faster than they can walk or smoke cigars on. That's kind of cool. <clears throat> bridge on Main. Giant cranes lift the bridge, placed into position. Signs remain. On 1832 entrance. And so this is pretty cool. It's like, uh, it was a whole production, whole community event. Come out and see the bridge move, the historic bridge move. That's pretty cool. Old wood pegs. And bird's nest up there. So we got some new electric. That's not original to the 1800s. <laughs> and, and the funny thing is, this thing feels substantial. There's no, like, give under your feet. These are some serious trusses for the floor or whatever these are. Beams. It's pretty cool. <clears throat> hey, we got an outlet over here. If I had an electric motorcycle, I could charge it from before I go home. And this is a really cool little thing. And this isn't usual, you know, you get to... Usually these things are kind of old and not looking so good. But this looks pretty good. Sorry if you keep seeing my phone pop up. I'm taking pictures. Well, guys, I think that's going to do it for this video. I really want to thank you for joining me on a beautiful Sunday ride. Hopefully you enjoyed the content. If so, please like, subscribe, and share. I would love to see your feedback down in the comment section. And until next time, have a safe, and I will catch you in the next one.